Last night we reported that PG&E will have to stand trial for felony manslaughter charges in connection to the death of four people in the 2020 Zog fire. But what do the victims' families want to see? They spoke with our Firepower Money team today, and Zach McLeod's wife, Elena, and their eight-year-old daughter, Fela, they died together trying to escape the Zog fire. Zach and his parents were in court yesterday and witnessed the ruling as the judge made the decision to order PG&E to trial. It was nice to, um, to, you know, get that little victory, but my girls still aren't here. What I would really like to see, I guess it all boils down to, is um, some changes to make sure this does not happen again, that no one else has to lose their lives and go through what my, uh, my daughter and wife went through. The power company faces four misdemeanor charges and seven felonies for the Zog fire. PG&E responded to the judge's ruling by saying in part, we believe PG&E did not commit any crimes. We believe the conduct of our co-workers reflects good faith judgment by qualified individuals. The next hearing is February 15th and at that time PG&E will likely enter a plea and the case could go in front of a jury.